Hello everyone, uh, this is Mwes Gwamgwa Bosco. Uh, as, as usual, yes, I'm your science teacher and I, I always come here to, to help you to go through uh, different activities. So today I'm again back that we do the same thing. So please candidates out there in different parts of, of the country, uh, feel free. Yes, always just go be with me, let us move together. Your science teacher is back. Your teacher Bosco helping you to go through uh, different activities. So please stay safe at home. Don't be worried uh, here and there. Uh, you are at home for your safety. So that's why for the moment I can't uh, fail to acknowledge the government. Uh, for this time they have uh, added, yes, for you to stay home. It's purposely for your security, your protection. Okay, so it's very important to keep your life, to save your life and save the life of your neighbor. So that at least the time get back and start when the pandemic is all gone uh, we shall still meet but for the moment uh, we are here for you providing lessons keep moving with us how uh, you want uh, you want uh, you want to regret so today uh, simply we are moving ahead with our topic that we began last time last time uh, we looked at uh, uh, interdependence we, we were looking at animals depend on each other for survival, simply in the environment. And we found the, very, the uh, most common component of the environment, where we found that the plants, okay, we looked at uh, animals, yes, uh, so we compared those major components of the environment. How do plants depend on animals, and then how animals depend on plants. We went ahead looking at the plants, depending on the plants, and the animals depending on animals. Yes, that gave us a clear a stand or background of understanding proper interdependence. So this time we are moving ahead, uh, looking at uh, more work, and then majorly today we want to look at common terms uh, used in interdependence. You might meet different terms as a P6 pupil, you're supposed to be uh, having a good stand. Okay, when we talk about animals, we don't just have to end there, talk about the plants. We don't have to just to end there, we have to see how can they depend on each other. So in uh, this case, we have, uh, we have different terms that are really looked at when we talk about uh, plants, animals, depending on each other in the environment, specifically living things depending on each other. So uh, the first term we can look at here, uh, let us look, can be uh, the producers. <laughs> okay, producers. We have uh, some living things in the environment that are called producers. They are called producers or referred to producers because of their nature, okay, in the environment. Then specifically, specifically, they are able to make, okay, their own food in the environment. So these ones are simply called producers. So you can say producers are living things or living organisms that make their own food. Okay, so producers, Are living organisms a living organisms <clears throat> one can say living things that make their own food that make their own food yes so these ones don't depend on food that is manufactured already they make their own food. So these ones simply, uh, uh, we look at this uh, in the environment, if you ask them, which would be those living things and which can make their own food, okay? So remember, simply the best example here are their plants. So if you are asked examples of producers, okay, so the best example here, they are plants. Yeah, so plants make their own food through the process uh, called the photosynthesis. Remember, we looked at that last time, and it defined the photosynthesis as the process by which living things make their own food, or manufacture their own food called starch. Remember, they can ask you in exams, yes? Ah, how, simply, how can, uh, what are the conditions necessary for plants to make their own food? Okay, uh, yes, for plants to make their own food, simply we said uh, it's quite just easy for you. Uh, we said you can simply do this. If you want to get them easily, never forget this. Okay? If you want to look at this. 
uh, I can just give you just a guideline here. Or that's just have a sidewalk here. Because that's just coming in as a sidewalk. So when I ask you about food, simply mention the four conditions for plants to make their own food. Okay? Uh, just simply we can list here. Okay? This kind of trick can help you. Okay? Simply this can help to understand those four conditions. So we can simply say wise children. This can be, uh, we can simply take this as wise children study chlorophyll. Simple like that. So you get your points. And the last one who gives you chlorophyll. So in talk of wise, okay, here if one says wise, this is going to give us our point. We can put here as let's say water. Uh, then now uh, for this, if you talk of children, this is like a sidewalk. Uh, this is going to give us carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Uh, and then now uh, when you come for study, S, yes, study. Uh, this one simply uh, study. Uh, this will give us as sunlight. Okay? Yes. Then uh, when you come to lastly, still we say this can stand for chlorophyll. And then it will give you as chlorophyll for C. Will stand for chlorophyll. Okay? Take care of the spelling of this word. So simply wise children study chlorophyll. This gives us the four conditions for photos to take place. So how can somebody in primary six, primary five, primary four? Yes, fail this. This is quite a simple example for you. So always when you are there and under the ask, please the four conditions for plants to make their own food simply say wise children study chlorophyll so please if you're there you taught by teacher bosco you're all wise children you can't miss these marks okay this number is ever for you free so we can simply take that as this is for you to guide you please wise children study chlorophyll so you can simply get this from wise you have water so the second point would be carbon dioxide the third one from study will be sunlight and lastly chlorophyll. Please, out there, my pupils, my candidates, in my class, never should you that. Just keep that one with yourself. With yourself. Yes. So uh, I think we can now move ahead. So that has come in as a by the way. We talked about plants make their own food to the process called photosynthesis. Simply we defined it last time for the things as the process by which plants make their own food. And they will need the conditions like uh, water, carbon dioxide, sunlight, and the chlorophyll. I gave you the simple way that you can be uh, using to remember that. Yes, uh, we can now move to the second part, okay? We have seen that plants are producers in the environment with that kind of ground. Now we can come to part B. Uh, of the second term, which is very common when talking about interdependence. Yes, so this one will be the consumers. After looking at the producers, we need the consumers in the environment. So, consumers. Simply, consumers in the environment will refer to living things or living organisms. Uh, uh, that uh, depend on already manufactured food or made food. For them, they don't make food. They have no capacity to make to manufacture food, but they will all depend on already manufactured food, already made food. So this one simply, if you look at uh, uh, in the environment, there will be the animals. So animals will depend on food uh, that's made by plants. So, so for plants make their own food. That's why plants are there because animals are there so all you can see that plants are get, uh, animals are going to be consumers they will be depending on what plants have made so we can simply define this you can say consumers <coughs> are living things so you can say living things or living organisms okay that depend, that depend on made food, made food. 
okay depend on already made food or already manufactured food so simply those that's why you can simply define the consumers so when you ask about uh, examples so the best example of the consumers in our environment there will be the animals okay so here you can give any animals any any animal okay uh like goats will need okay goats will need a food made by plants okay talk of cows yes talk of man or one can say humans yes talk with the chimpanzee very many okay you can say and put etc yes so all these you can find that are many of them animals with the environment okay they depend on already manufactured food so those animals majorly are called these are called the consumers for them they don't make their own food okay yes they will depend on food by from plants they will maybe also depend on other small animals so these ones all they depend on already manufactured food so simply that gives us a very good stand about uh, animals like uh, consumers okay so for this we can go to the second part where we have uh, uh, the, the the animals that are that are called decomposers. the third part yes uh, so we can now move to part C okay so part C uh, these are so look at simply the cop the next common term here I uh, will be the decomposers Decomposers Okay, so in de for decomposers here simply we look at uh, those living things that break down plants and animal materials Okay, they break down let's, let's give an example if it's a uh, let's say uh, there are plants the animals you find that they're living organisms like bacteria they break them down like you can find that uh, if it's a dead animal yes or sometimes you can find it turn into soil what happened so once those plants and remain and animal remains decay or rot there are some living organisms which break them down okay those are simply called decomposers yes so we can say here that decomposers are living organisms or living thing that break down plants and animal materials decomposers decomposers mm. living organisms somebody can say living things okay that break down break down <laughs> plants and animal materials yes this animal these materials can be remains animal remains if it's a human body or they are non-humans if they are plants all these ones once they say yes once if the plant is cut on the ground then those there are some living things will break them will act on them to break them down into small particles so that will be uh, bring down building to decomposing them but it goes the process of rotting or decaying that's why we say that uh, these are the first cause them to decay okay so we can say and be uh, these ones okay this living organism they cause they cause these materials to decay or rot Mm. Decomposers cause uh, cause plants plants and animal remains to decay. Plants and uh, and uh, animal remains to remains to decay. Yes. So once they decay or rot, then they easily broken down into small particles. So these are simply called decomposers. So the decomposers, the examples we can have, 
The best example here will be the bacteria. Mm. Examples of decomposers. So here we shall have the best example here are uh, the bacteria. Okay? So simply bacteria, you know it causes rotting or decaying in the in in living the remains of living things. If they are plants, if they are animals, yes, so on. You cut, let's say you cut trees and then it dips on the ground. Once they stay for a long time there, they have to they will they will decay because of bacteria. Yes, if they are animal, if it's a dog or any animal yes, that is let's say this which is remain dead body of animals, yes, they can easily they will rot because of bacteria and then get broken down. So we can simply ask which living things are cause decay in the environment? They are bacteria or which break down or decompose yes, other living things, living organisms, the bacteria. Uh, so this is clear. So from looking at this, we can uh, move ahead the third, the next or the fourth part uh, of common terms within uh, interdependence. And this one will be simply the food web. That is part D. <laughs> part D. Okay. Food web. Yes, this is also good information to look at as primary six members can or candidates and even other information. Because from here is this major our part we have to handle. But as we move this, like going to secondary, we'll be meeting about terms like food web, food chain. So uh, uh, learners who are taught by, by, by teacher or school should be having all this information. Okay, yes. so right from this, we can simply have uh, uh, just a clear view or brief view about the food web. So uh, simply, food web is a simple feeding relationship. That's how you can simply understand that. So if you, even if you go secondary, you'll be finding uh, such terms and to, it will be easy for you. Okay, so we can simply define uh, the food, food web. is a simple feeding relationship feeding relationship yes so here simply we can why do you call relationship we want to compare within the living organisms okay how how they depend on each other how does it feed because they are living so in this what you have to note here, looking at a food web, a food web begins with, the, if you want to look at a food web, arrangement of the way, uh, let's say, things, living things depend on each other. You will find that in this case, you begin with the plants. It's very important because we said the plants make their own food. So you can say, let us have this note here. It's a very important note this, okay? Uh, a food web, Food web starts with the plants. Yeah, simply because uh, plants make their own food. Because uh, plants make their own food. Yes, so when looking at a, a food web, because it's a simple feeding relationship. So having looked at uh, the three parts, okay, of or the three common terms within uh, interdependence, which we had, uh, we have seen, uh, we have seen uh, producers, consumers, composers. Yes, we can look at other more two terms, okay. So as a primary six, we need to, beyond this, we can look at some other work, uh, which you need to take note, yes. Uh, as students of, of teacher Pasco, it's very important at least to have an extra mile. So from here, you can look at another term as part D, which is simply a food chain. Okay. Yes, so a food chain, this is very, actually, is to understand the way that, uh, yes, you see like as a chain, it is, okay, on a bicycle, on a motorcycle, so a chain, uh, which you can use to, 
to, to join different things. So a food chain is like a join. So you can find the, uh, the, the kind of feeding we join. One is there because the other one is there. One eats because there is something fast. So that's a food chain. So in this case, a food chain we can simply define as a simple feeding relationship. Okay? A food chain is a simple feeding relationship. Can have this a food chain is a simple feeding relationship relationship okay yes and uh, now in this case it's a very important note when talking about a food chain we're going to see one from one point to the next point if one, one living organism is living because one is living, then what should be the first? That's what is very important. So in looking at a food chain, take note of this. Majorly, a food chain starts with plants, simply because plants make their own food. So you can have this as a knot. Okay. Uh, a food chain starts with plants okay so we're saying that with plants simply because simply because plants make their own food or manufacture their own food plants make uh, their own food So this is why we simply say that a, a food chain starts with the plants. They can ask you, why does the food chain start with the plants? Simply because plants make their own food. Okay? So we're looking at a, an example here. Let's look at examples. Okay, here. Example. Let's look at example of a food chain here. So you want to get, make a food chain, okay, you can let us have a here. And if you have, we say we begin with the plants. Simply, you begin with what is eaten to what eats to make a food chain. So you can look at it like a component of three examples of living things, or examples of, yes, within the living things. See, how can they depend on each other? So, like this, so from plants, we can see what eats plants. Since we have plants, so what we eat plants? Okay? Simply, yeah, if you have, let's say, Animals, let's like, like, you can say like a goat, a goat, okay. Mm -hmm. So from there, we have got plants, so plants can eat vegetation, can, so goats can eat vegetation, can eat plants. So from now, if goats eat vegetation, which are the plants, now when you go to the third one, what will eat now the goat? So here we can talk about like maybe the carnivorous animal. Talk about a lion, talk about a, a jaguar, talk about uh, the dogs. So you can bring a lion here. You see? So this simply gives us uh, a clear understanding of a food chain, whereby we say it begins with the plants, because plants make their own food. So once we have plants, goats will eat plants. Okay? Yes. Now, then from if we now go to have the goats, so what do we eat now with the goat? This is now simply meat. You see, you bring animal which can eat meat, will now complete your food chain, okay? Sometimes also we can also use bacteria because once that remain, becomes a remain, if they are humans or they are, un, let's say they are other non-humans and they are dead, they are remains, the, yes, the composers can come as the last part there, okay? So even here we can see, yeah, even here we can add the composer to add them. So majorly for food chain, we can be looking at it in terms of three components only, but always begin with what, what is eaten. So like plants are eaten by, by animals like the, the herbivores. So let us have for part B, you can complete it here. Yes. If part B still we give, you give any plants. Yes. So in this time, kind of case okay, so of plants, you can mention, let's say, any example of, of vegetation, okay? Uh, if you don't want to go on mentioning plants only, yes. Uh, 
you can mention an example of vegetation and I say, okay, yeah, you can go easily, you can change any term and say plants, but uh, it's quite easy. Not to say plants, you can say anything from plants. One can say vegetation also. Okay, let's see what is vegetation. Uh, vegetation. One can use the word grass. Yes, because it's simply referring to plants. So make sure that what you begin with refers to plants. And then here, okay, we can fill this here, what we'll eat here, and then last here. You can see fill here, and then fill in here. So in exams, you can be asked, okay, given, okay, the feeding relationship below above, complete it. So you're given maybe plants here. And then all vegetation, given all you give any grass, complete this. So what will eat what what will eat the vegetation? So after the vegetation, then we will ask what now? If you we, we get what can eat vegetation. So here, what can eat what eats the vegetation? So simply this gives you a food chain. Okay, they can add the part C for you to complete. Uh, so here, in case given to complete here, I uh, can have an arrow here uh, to what it's here. Uh, yes, uh, we can put, let's say we put man here. Okay, then we go to what will eat man. Then we also complete here. So from here, you need to see, begin with the plants. You can write vegetation, you can write grass, you can write plants, you can give an example of plants, then what can eat that from here, and then what eats, what eats plants. So simply we begin from what is eaten and to what you will eat. Like here as we said, plants simply are, are eaten by goats, but goats will be eaten by the lion. Okay? So uh, that one you can give can be a very clear understanding on this. And we can now simply move the next part or last part of, of, of feeding relationship. Where we shall look at a food chain, uh, sorry, a food web. That's part E. As the last common term here, so look at a food web. Okay? Uh, simply for food web, uh, it has a simple difference from the food chain. For the food chain, is simply a simple feeding relationship. So when you come for the food web, you can say it's a compound feeding relationship. From the word simple, just have the opposite. Or somebody can also say it's an integrated feeding relationship. So we get from different sources. Uh, so you can say food web is Food web is uninterrelated. Uninterrelated. Feeding relationship. Feeding relationship. Mm -hmm. So simply we are saying a food web, for food web is uninterrelated feeding relationship. Okay, or one can simply take it as a complex. Okay pound feeding relationship. In this case, we're going to have animals getting or living things getting feeding from or depending on others from different sources. So it's interrelated. So there is a, a combination of more than one, okay, which is different from the food chain. So here we can look at uh, examples here. And the example we can look at here, uh, looking at uh, a food chain, a food web. They can ask to complete so a food web here, we can be given here, maybe let's say cow here. Uh, down here we are given, let's say goat. Uh, should we say, it does have grass. It does have grass, okay? We are given grass. Uh, and then here, yes, man, because man, you find that it's, it's, you need to majorly find it be basing getting from different, different sources is a, is a omnivore. So it will be, let us put man in the middle. Omnivores can be in the middle part here. Okay, man, pigs, those ones. 
and then okay you can have hen this side okay uh, and then from there lastly let's have grasshopper here yes uh, grasshopper yeah so uh, what do you put interrelated feeding relationship meaning there is more than one source of, of, of feeding or dependence so like here we can check remember as we said eh, the arrow begins from what what is eaten to what eats okay so from here if you ask to complete the feeding relationship below what do we do here you get your arrow from what is eaten to what it so if you have grass here and you have cow so what can of the two what can eat the other so the animal the cow will eat grass so we begin from what is eaten to what eats okay yes so we can keep joining the arrows here if you check here if you have man and cow so what eats money will eat cow will eat meat from cow so meaning the arrow begins from what is eaten to what eats okay yes uh -huh. and then what we check when we check here we have uh move ahead you have the hen and man comparing hen and man and man so here what eats the other okay so man it will eat hen will eat chicken so you can say the arrow begins from what is eaten to what eats okay so if we can keep joining here yes still check here grasshopper and hens of grasshopper and hens what eats the other you can see the hen okay will eat grasshoppers and then the arrows begin from what is eaten to what eats okay mm. so from grasshoppers to to hen so we can now still add check more arrows here if you have here for this case we have uh, grass and then grasshopper so grasshoppers will eat grass so remember the arrow begins from what eats to what is it to the arrow begins from what is from what is eaten okay to what <coughs> yes yes from here the arrow begins from what is eaten to what eats so grass is eaten by grasshoppers okay yes I think we can have more arrows joining here check here grass and man so man eats grass the arrow begins from what is eaten to what eats do you see uh-huh one more yes uh so for this let me leave you for this to complete still yes in your checking on this what do you think we can add here more yes check add this add an arrow here Be, remember from what is eaten to what eats so you can at least complete this you can be as complete this uh, feeding relationship so for this case uh, you are left to complete to see to add the arrow there and then uh, we see what's remaining yes so uh, for this lesson uh, we have covered common terms used in a, in a interdependence we began with the producers and then we went to uh, consumers from there we went to uh, decomposers from decomposers we went to the food chain and then came to the food web so from here uh, we can end here for our case of our lesson but we will be having different activities different questions yes as uh, we move on so what you do you check on uh, we have different sources of the questions because if you need to get them you, what you have to do keep watching btn tv uh, follow check on youtube you'll be getting these questions check on our, our websites wisdom center websites you have questions about uh, this topic so uh, this will help you to go through your work and keep yourself updated so we end here thank you